This YCN segment is brought to you by M.J. Harrington and Company, jewelers and designers since 1948. Both the Slaters and Yellow Jackets were playing for high stakes, as Fairhaven hasn't won a boys basketball championship in 16 years, while Milton hasn't made the finals in 25 years, let alone ever win a state title in the program's history. The game started off with Slater's junior Cam Kaluti stealing the ball and laying it in for two. He immediately played a huge role in his team's offense with multiple threes, rebounds, assists, and steals. Sophomore teammates Aubrey Ramey and Joey Gannon put in points, as did senior Austin Ellis. The Slaters quickly built a solid lead. However, Milton's junior Ian Jennings kept his team close with a long ball, and senior Trey Sherwood converted a three-point play. After eight minutes, Fairhaven was up 12 with a score of 22 to 10. A ton of different guys put in points for the top seed in the second quarter, with senior Zach Murray scoring down low, and Ellis, Ramey, and Gannon all continuing to add to the stat sheet. The Yellow Jackets struggled offensively and mainly just hit free throws right up until the break as both teams fouled themselves into the double bonus. At halftime, the score was 36 to 21 with Fairhaven in control. Kaluti began the third quarter just as he did the first with a steal and a layup, and he hit another three. His fellow teammate Junior Parker Morse also put in a bucket, this time in the paint, after excellent team ball movement. But Milton's offense started to wake up as Jennings and Sherwood each made multiple shots. And senior Javante Sophie sunk a huge three just before the end of the third. As all of a sudden, Milton was back in the game with an eight point deficit going into the fourth quarter. The Yellow Jackets began the last eight minutes of the season with a floater from Jennings, a big buried three from Sophie, and another huge long ball this time from Jennings, and the game was shockingly tied at 47 apiece. With six minutes left, Fairhaven's Murray took advantage of a foul after shooting a three and made all of his free throws, while Gannon scored in transition after a Kaluti assist. Cam also drove to the hoop for two. Jennings came up big for the Jacks in the fourth every time it seemed like Fairhaven might retake control of the game. He and Kaluti both traded threes within a 10 second span. With 45 seconds left in the D2 championship, Kaluti was fouled and went two for two at the line, extending the lead to five. Milton senior Seth Harity then quickly drove to the hoop for a layup. On Fairhaven's next possession, Gannon was fouled, but he couldn't hit his attempt at the line. So Milton had another chance down by three with 26 seconds left. The Yellow Jackets managed to take three different shots after two offensive rebounds during the possession, but they just couldn't get anything to fall. Jennings grabbed the third rebound and was fouled. He hit his first shot, but not the second, and Fairhaven senior Drew Eddy made a huge rebound and quickly passed to Kaluti, who wisely played keep away and passed up the court to Ramey. He was blocked driving to the hoop to end the game, but time had run out, as the Slaters had won Vermont's Division II Boys Basketball Championship with a final score of 59 to 57. Cam Kaluti led all scorers with 29 points, while Gannon put in 10 and Ramey scored seven. Jennings led Milton with 27 points and 12 rebounds. After the game, we caught up with Fairhaven's longtime head coach, Bob Prenovoff, to get his take on the win. Early in the game, I thought we, had, we played excellent defense. I thought we started off in our zone, was really effective. We switched to man, and until the last three minutes, I thought we defended very well. Obviously, their big kid Jennings hurt us at the very end, made some key threes, but I'd say defensively, we did a good job most of the night. Cameron, obviously, Cameron Cooley led us in scoring, rebounding, leads us every night in stats. I thought Avi Ramey, Joey Gannon, the two sophomores played well. Zach Murray, uh, the other off guard, played well. So, you know, it was a contribution. But, however, how oh, Cam goes, we go. Once we went to 11, uh, our man deep, I thought we played that very well until the last two or three minutes. Our 23 zone was solid early, too, kept him away from the basket. So, defense like that, we didn't do a bad job until the very end. The very end, we got help to Skelter, they knocked in shots. 
It's a shocking win then. It's good. I've been doing this for 40 years. It's a different group of kids. Um, I'm happy for them. They worked hard. We're back next year. A lot of our kids come back. Have an outstanding JV team, so I think uh, we might come back. Fairhaven finishes the season with an overall record of 19 and 5, while Milton finishes at 17 and 7. Both teams will lose key seniors to graduation, but with players like Kaluti and Jennings returning, expect both programs to be right back in the finals mix come March of 2019.